Okay, hello everybody. Um, just want to welcome you all to um, the Rank Advancement Club. Um, all very, all very excited that you all um, want to be part of this. <coughs> um, so welcome Please. to the. Are you recording it? Yes. Oh, you are. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Carry on. Um, I lost my train of thought now. Um, <laughs> So yes, yeah, so welcome to the first one we, we've ever done. Um, so we think this is going to be a great opportunity <clears throat> uh, as a motivational tool to um, get to know everybody for lots of people in the same boat to um, build a community to help each other through some of the hardest stages of the doTERRA business is, you know, when you're going, when you're just starting and trying to, you know, work out how you do this. Um, and also from getting to elite to premier, and then also getting from premier to silver. Um, and so that the point of this <clears throat> club is it's a community of like-minded individuals going through the same experiences um, that they can, where it can all help each other and boost each other with their failures uh, and with their successes. Um, and you also have your mentor, and um, these skill trainings and other things that will be going on throughout um, the next three months to help to push you to the next ranks. Um, so we're, we're excited for it and think it will be something that will be really, really valuable for you. Um, um, so <clears throat> if you're not part of the Facebook group, I think we've added 95% of people. <clears throat> if you're not part of the Facebook group, let us know at the end that you're not who um, will put you on because most of the uh, communication is going to be done via the Facebook group. Some people don't get my MailChimp emails and um, they go into junk and things like that. So uh, always check the Facebook <clears throat> and have that on your notifications. I understand that some of you don't have Facebook or use Facebook. So there will be em emails as well, but I don't want you to rely on that. Um, Facebook is, um, is a great tool and it also means that everyone can communicate together. So you can put your comments on there and you can ask questions and if you need a resource for something somebody might have it and they can just give you that because we don't want you wasting your time creating invites when somebody's already done it um, and a simple invite is the best so um, if you've got any questions as we go throughout it um, then let me know and just you can just you know again it's quite an informal thing it's a nice you know it's a nice chat um, that we're having all together so just you know let us know as we talk. All your sponsors are on. Um, and um, if you're not sure who your sponsor is, um, then they will be in touch today. Um, if by the end of the day they haven't been in touch and you do not know, then tomorrow uh, let me know or your, who you think it should be. And then, um, then we'll, we'll chat to you about that. Okay. Um, it's just got a question. You can take photos of the slides, uh, Tonya, yes. You can have the slides. So I'll email you uh, the slides as well at the end if you want them. Um, so just a few um, statistics. So a few stats. So we have 103 of you doing the Rank Advancement Club. 39 of you are just starting. Okay. 60 of you are trying to get to Elite. Um, so. You know, most of them are just starting, trying to get to elite. 27 are aiming to rank advance to premier. And 16 of you are aiming to rank advance to silver. So that's loads of you going through the same situation. So, you know, um, it's going to be fun trying to, you know, get into those, um, get into those ranks. So <clears throat> what I want to be clear on is that this is not a training program. So there will be skilled trainings on 15 minutes every week. But there's, the skill trainings are on a few subjects that we think are, you know, quite necessary. But there's lots of gaps that we don't cover, okay? So what this, what this club is all about, it's more of a motivational club, okay? The training, where needed, is still 
needs to be given by your current upline and not necessarily your sponsors. Now, your sponsor may be your upline, so it may be that they need to train you or continue the training with you, okay? But this, what I want to make clear is that the half-hour mentoring session that you're going to be getting with um, your sponsor does not cover business training, okay? They're going to be going through your plan, your strategy, and helping you with any blocks that you've got or they'll be pointing you in the right direction if you need training in certain things, but they won't have time to give you that training, okay? So you'll need to be getting the training from, um, one, you would have been emailed um, in the welcome email, the 10 um, webinars. So, you know, Rebecca and I have created 10 webinars about a year ago uh, that go over the 10 basics of the business, you know, the class, placements, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And then you need to be going over your up with your upline. They'll probably be creating, they'll be having some trainings as well that you'll want to get on. So everything is normal in terms of training. This is in addition to, to your training. So what I want to say is, is that you don't stop learning about the business just because you're doing this club. Okay. This club is a motivational thing. It's, um, it's to get you to help you to rank, but it's not going to be training you on how to do the business per se. Okay. And it does, the rank advancement club does, um, there is an expectation of a certain level of knowledge. So if there's things that you're finding confusing as we talk about it, then speak to your sponsor and they'll point you in the right direction to um, help you with that. Okay. And um, also your upline that's training you in the business, speak to them about it as well and they'll help you through it as well. Okay. So this can be a crash course in, you know, getting you to learn with the business because you need to, you're moving so fast with trying to rank. Um, and um, also it's helping you to, you know, build that momentum in your team to get things moving, get things moving quicker. All right. So um, the sponsors are there to guide you and to encourage you weekly through the club. Um, so we have our 10 webinar training program. It's a Dropbox folder. If you don't have it, I'll put it on Facebook. Um, if you need these things, then just comment on Facebook and we can post it on there for everybody. Um, but please use the Facebook group. Take full advantage of, of um, oh, spelled being wrong, of what is being offered as part of this club, okay? Because it's, it's really amazing. There's no other team doing it and um, uh, it's going to be really, really useful for you. Um, so what I would also ask you is, is that those that embrace the challenge and put it into action will succeed. You will rank advance, okay? But you need to be um, taking part with the community, uh, you know, the Facebook group, all of us coming onto the skill trainings. Even if you think you know that aspect of the skill training, it might be a waste of your time. I promise you, you'll learn something new. It won't be a waste of your time. Um, even if you're just sitting around, you know, chatting afterwards with some people, they can inspire you with what they say. It's amazing what you can learn um, just by coming on to these calls um, and engaging the Facebook group and what you'll learn from your sponsors as well. So take full advantage of those things um, and <clears throat> um, make sure that you then put your plans into action and do them because that's what's going to make you rank advance. Um, so what Part of the rank advancement program is we want you to be concentrating on key activities, okay? Um, so an example of, a key, of what is not a key activity, it is spending too much time on Facebook looking for watching videos on how to do the business. <clears throat> now, you may need to do a little bit of that, but spending too much time on it is a waste. There's only so much knowledge you need with this business. You don't need tons. Is basically the most thing that you need to do is get on and do it. Okay, that's the biggest learning curve that you can possibly take. Okay, the other thing that lots of people like to do is um, make lovely invites, and they they look lovely, but you know a text is just as good, if not better, as a, an invite to a class. Okay, and that's way easier. The person that's coming to a class doesn't care whether they get a text or whether they get a fancy invite. They know no different. Okay. Um, the other thing lots of people like to do is with a sample, they'll like to look, let's put three together and put it in a nice bag and they can't possibly 
give it without a ribbon around it. You know, <laughs> um, I'm not making fun. I'm just saying that those things are lovely, um, but they're not key money making activities. So don't spend your time doing that too much. It's okay to do them, but make sure that they're not what you're spending your time doing. So the key money making activities, and we're not focusing on money, okay, but obviously we want to rank, you're doing it as a business, so you want to make some money on it. The key activities to making money with doTERRA are simply these things here. <coughs> Firstly, you talk to <coughs> everyone you can about the essential oils. Next, from those people, you will then sample them. So some of them will have ailments, you then need to sample them with those ailments. From all those people, you then invite them to classes, okay? You then hold a class, teach it. And then from when you hold a class and teach it, you'll then sign people up, okay? Then when you sign people up, you'll need to do a wellness consultation with every one of them. That is your opportunity to teach them more about the oils and to educate them more. They want to know more. And it's also an opportunity to get them onto LRP, which is the residual income, which is what's going to be recurring and creating your momentum. Okay. And then once you've got them onto, you know, well, once you've got them signing up, whether they go onto LRP or not, you still need to be adding people to into all that education because they could always go onto LRP in three or four months time. Um, you never know. Um, so it's always great to be putting everybody that signs up through the um, oil education. And what I mean by oil education is, making sure that they know where to get the books, making sure that they know where to get more information, putting them onto the Facebook groups, like the, um, if they were interested in the business, obviously it's building and sharing doTERRA. If they, it's the, most people will be customers, so it's putting them onto Essential Gifts of the Earth Facebook page, or you may have a Facebook page that you do um, oil stuff on, so you put them onto there, or your upline may have some, so you put them onto there. We'll, you know, you add them to the continued education classes, which will be coming up very soon. So there's lots and lots of things. <laughs> if I'm talking too fast or sharing stuff you don't know about, make notes of it and ask for those things on the Facebook group. Okay, that is all part of it. So well, where is that thing that Nathan was talking about? You know, about how can I add them to the continued day classes? Where is that? Okay. So um, those are the key money making activities. So throughout this process. We want you to be concentrating on these eight things, okay? The main thing with all these things, as you can see here, is follow-up, okay? So throughout every stage, there will be an element of follow-up. So when you talk to somebody about the oils, you then need to follow up with them. If they said they've got an ailment, you need to give them the sample. <clears throat> Once you've given them the sample, you can't just leave them, <laughs> okay? Otherwise, it's a waste. You then need to follow up with them. <clears throat> Most people won't um, just come back to you and say, oh, it was an amazing experience. Some will, but most won't, okay? So you need to follow up with them to make sure that they um, see how they're doing with the oils, okay? And to help them with that. Um, then you invite them to a class. Um, you then, once you invite someone to a class, this is the key stage of follow-up. It's making sure that, and it's not just one touch necessarily. You're not just going to send them one text or just ask them once. You're going to you're going to send them a reminder on the day of or the day before. You're going to be sending them a text or you might give them a call just to make sure that they come into the class. It's really key that you make sure you get people to your classes. <clears throat> okay, so follow-up is the key to that. And then once you've held the class, some people won't sign up on the day. It's important to follow up with people that don't sign up, okay? People that do sign up, it's important to follow up with a wellness consultation. Um, and then it's important to follow up with the education on the oils. So follow up in its different varying degrees is taking people through this eight stage process, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And once you've, once you've got this eight-day process, process and you know what you're doing with this, you then know how to do the doTERRA business and you then go on to how to teach it and duplicate it to others, okay? But you have to know how to do it first before you can teach it to others. So that is the point of this program is to learn it for yourself 
really, really well. And then after that, when you start hitting the ranks of elite, premier, silver and above, you then will start going, right, I know what I'm doing. I can start teaching this as a business very well. <clears throat> but you have to learn how to do these eight steps uh, well. And the follow-up is the one link which links everything. Okay, you've got to make sure you do your follow-up. Um, so, you know, concentrating on the key money-making activities, it's not, it's not enough to be busy. So are the ants. The question is, what are we being busy about? Okay. So Rebecca's just going to um, share a little bit about, um, we call it mindset, but it's, it's about um, how you think. Because this is, you know, a lot of you are on your own. Most of, you, most of us are on your own at home doing this. And it can be tough with the rejection and with certain things. So it's important that you've got, you know, a strong structure and a strong, a strong frame of mind. And a mindset of success, you know, that actually everybody's going to fail at something in this or lots of things at, at, at this. And that is fine. Um, Rebecca's going to, uh, sorry, over to you, Rebecca. Cool. Thanks, Nate. And um, yeah, a mindset really is going to be a massive thing in all of this as it is um, in everything in life. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be the thing that's going to kind of either, either help you make it or the thing that will stop you. So first of all, I want to congratulate you for taking the first step because um, that takes courage in and of itself. So everybody on here has already, you know, done that, which is, which is brilliant. Um, but we're at the exciting time at the moment where you're setting your goals and, you know, it's all, the, it's all possibility is there and that's all very exciting. And it's easy to be kind of upbeat about that. But as the days kind of come and go, you know, you wake up some mornings and you're just not feeling it. Or, you know, you have that class when no one turns up or your sampling's not particularly going very well. It's at that point where it's very easy to kind of give up a bit and, and kind of let yourself off and um, let yourself off the hook. Um, now, my advice is that you definitely don't do that. <laughs> um, as hard as it sometimes is, is that you really treat this definitely for the next three months as a business. You know, this is your business. This, this is your work. And that's the great thing about it being a start and a finish point because you can really go for it you know whatever your life circumstances are you probably you know the reason why you're able to, to do this is because you're thinking you know I can I can push for three months and whatever that is some of you are going to really push and 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 go um, you know go for it and others are going to um, go slower again and that's absolutely fine but the point is that you you take it very seriously um, and actually and don't um, don't give yourself an excuse to get out of it basically so don't believe your excuses that's that's a big thing I'm gonna say we all have excuses we all have reasons why we're not going to be able to achieve what we have in our mind um, but really challenge them so obviously there will be some things that will happen that really are huge and okay believe those excuses <laughs> you don't want we don't want you to, to kill yourself doing this or anything um, and there are things obviously that, that will take precedence but really challenge those excuses because most of the excuses we, we come up with are there almost as protection to kind of um, prevent ourselves from feeling like we failed. But don't give in to that because that's um, what will stop you from succeeding. So really challenge them and, and don't believe most of them. I'd say 90% of your excuses are, are made up as a protection thing. Um, also, don't be scared of your weaknesses. I think that's something um, that's also something that, that happens quite naturally is, is as we're doing something, as we're striving and pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone, our weaknesses just suddenly go bing, 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 and they're like right in your face. And, and, and if you start dwelling on those and, and start, um, you know, really thinking about those things, then that, that can drag you down and, and strip you of your confidence. Um, and also kind of disable you from achieving your goals. Um, so yes, we've all got weaknesses, but my challenge to you is to kind of look at those weaknesses and, and embrace them really. Kind of go, yes, do you know what? I accept all of me. I've got some amazing strengths. I've also got some weaknesses. And you know, those weaknesses we can work on over time, but they're not gonna go instantly. But the, the point is that you can achieve and succeed even with those weaknesses. So despite the weaknesses that we, we currently have. And I know that because I've got tons of weaknesses 
um, and, and they're constantly there and I kind of have to challenge them um, but mostly I just I ignore them when I'm going for something like this if I'm going to be going for a, a challenge and I'm going for a goal then then try not to think too much and just go for it this is why it's really good what Nathan's kind of created um, here with this PowerPoint and in a second he's going to share um, the, some more things which you can just focus on those those practical tasks um, and and try not to let your thoughts and your weaknesses and your self doubts come into it just kind of almost push them aside a bit accept that they're there and just do the things do the tasks the money making activities and it, and it will it will happen for you um, and you know I think this is it's just such a wonderful thing to, to be um, gun ho about really because you know I think for most of us we've been drawn to doTERRA because we want to be part of something meaningful um, and we want to change the lives of others but also I'm sure you're wanting to change the quality of, of your own life as well um, so you know it's really important to keep that goal in your mind as well you know why you're doing this um, what you want to achieve out of this and this this three months um, of just kind of going for it is really going to get you so much closer beautiful this stuff <laughs> sorry to put Isabel here it's going to get you it's going to make that dream um, you know come so much closer and it's really going to build that belief in you if you can really make this jump in these three months so that's going to boost you full of confidence and you'll get that momentum going and you'll find your business will be off to a really good kind of head start and just start flowing and that's the kind of the idea of this three months is to just really get it going and then you won't be able to stop it and then it will be easier to ignore those self-doubts because it will already be in in full flow um, so the last thing I just want to add as well is just a practical tip um, I'm someone that can feel quite overwhelmed you know there's so much going on in most of our lives so I've been at the moment just thinking really about the one thing I haven't actually read the book yet but I've heard it's a really good one um, but it's called the one thing but I can obviously understand the um, the idea of it is that just pick one thing so you know even I do it not just for the day but sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and I think right what's the one thing I want to achieve in my family life what's the one thing today I have to do for my business um, what's the one thing um, with my personal life you know so just one thing in, in perhaps a couple of areas in your life and that feels very doable and then when you do once you've done that one thing then you can change the next one thing so you can maybe do that three times in the day but try not to let your head get bogged down with all these tasks. Just think, right, so at the beginning, my one thing today is in the business is to sample these oils with two or three people today. And just have that in your head. And don't think too much about what you've then got to do after that and, and start worrying about the class you're going to have to invite them to. Just take one task at a time and also one day at a time as well. And that's my real advice, practical advice there. And you'll find if, if you do that, you're going to achieve your goals. Um, and so just want to say really good luck to everybody. This is very exciting. We're going to be here the whole way with you. And we'll be putting some, um, some helpful things on the Facebook group as well. Some kind of motivational stuff to so look out for that. I'll hand it back to Nathan. Thank you, babe. Um, <clears throat> yes, Mari's put a lovely comment on Facebook, actually. She said, nothing wrong with ribbons and bows is what makes it fun for me so that's a good point you know if that is what makes it fun for you then great do the things that also make it fun but just also remember that that isn't the money making activity okay so um but if it makes it fun for you then by all means <laughs> do it um <clears throat> so just just quickly just um just wanted to uh also express what Rebecca was just saying that, you know, there will be a time, you know, in these next three months where most of you will have people not turn up to classes. Okay. And that will generally be because probably not good enough follow up, but that is okay. Okay. Sometimes it isn't, you've done all you can and that just happens. I would almost say it's a rite of passage in doTERRA that you've got to have a class when no one comes to. Okay. If you don't have that, you're probably not going to be successful. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, everybody has that happen to them multiple times. Okay. 
everybody and go through it and you work through it and you go, well, I don't want to have that happen again. So you then, you know, refine what you're doing and get better and better. So it's okay to fail and it's wonderful to succeed. Okay. So what I'm going to be discussing now is we're going to get to it and we're going to plan your three months. So we're going to do it to start off with from an elite perspective. Okay. So if you are just starting, okay, what you need to do is you haven't done it already is you need to write your hundred name list. So you need to get a piece of paper, however you want to do it, get your Excel spreadsheet and you need to write your list of people you know, your world market, they might be interested in this. If you're going for Premier or going for Silver, then you need to organize your contacts. And then if you haven't done a hundred name list, then do it or you know, add more names to that that you know of. Or if you're running out of names, you then need to plan how to get new contacts to add to this list. Okay. So here's a memory jogger. So this is um, a great little uh, sheet as a memory jogger for help to help you with your, you know, writing this list. So you can have a look at, you know, what's your warm market, you know, your neighbor list, co-workers, then go on to your relatives, which one of those might be interested uh, who is are my accountants? This is just something to jog you to see if you may know somebody to put on your list, okay? To help you with that. So um, we'll, we'll put that onto the Facebook group so you can have that as well. All right. Um, looks wrong on PowerPoint. Okay, so <clears throat> when you're starting to plan your three months, what, you, what you're going to be planning or your next three months around is the number of classes that you are doing. Okay, so, and it's very key that at those classes, you've got the right amount of people come into the classes because everything comes from the classes. Okay, so the average, these are, this is the average statistics that we found in the UK to be able to hold a decent class, okay? So this is what you are looking to achieve. You can achieve more than this, better than this, um, but it's kind of the average. So if you talk to 20 people, 14 of those you'll be able to sample, 16 of those you'll probably invite to a class, because obviously all the people that you sample, you want to invite to a class, and then there's probably a couple that you haven't sampled that you'll be getting to a class, which is why the number's higher. So you'll have 16 people come to a class. Of the 16 people that come, sorry, you invite to a class. Of the, of the 16 people you've invited, probably only eight will come to that class. Some of them might come to later classes, but you'll get eight come to that class if you invite 16. Generally, it's a 50% sign up. Some people have 100%, some people have 20%. Okay, so it really depends on you as an individual. But the average statistics show that um, if you have eight people come to a class, four of them will sign up. That means that you then need to do four wellness consultations, okay? And when you do four wellness, cons four wellness consultations, generally 50% of people will sign up onto LRP, okay? So you'll then, from, a, from one class, you'll have four people sign up and two people onto LRP. You're then able to add um, two people, actually, that should say four people all onto the Ed, oil education because it doesn't matter whether they sign up to LLP or not you still want to be getting people learning more about the oils if they sign up so the key the real real key indicators there are for you that make money for you is sign ups and getting people onto LLP they are the key indicators the real the real the real key indicators however all the other ones help you to figure out how much work and effort you need to do to get those two indicators, okay? And that's just, that's for one class. So you then take that one class and you then spread that out over the next three months. So you might do three classes a month. So that's how you then take, take it forward, okay? So if you're looking to get to elite um, in the next three months from just starting, you are looking to get from nothing to 3,000 <clears throat> overall volume, 
And that isn't in pounds. So for some of you might be thinking that's in pounds. It's not pounds. It's in uh, PV. So obviously, you know, doTERRA have a the points um, system for each of their oils and for their kits. So you're looking to get 3,000 by the end of the three months. Um, and that's going to give you, make you elite. Okay, so that's going to give you your rank advance. So what you're looking to achieve <clears throat> in May so this is an example that you could do. Um, this isn't to tell you what to do here. You could have five classes a month. You could have two classes a month. You could have 10 a month. Okay, but we're giving you an example here of how you can get to elite if you do these numbers. Okay, so in May, if you <coughs> do three classes, <coughs> so you sample 16 people for each of those classes, you'll then get, excuse me, <coughs> eight people come to each of those classes that will give you four sign-ups at each class so in total for the month of may you'll have 48 people sampled 24 people attend the class and 12 sign-ups now generally you'll get a third will sign up to a home essential kit and two-thirds will sign up to the family essential kit or the family physician kit so if you get that over the month, you get, you'll get four people sign up time essential kits, which is 880 PV or OV. And then family essential kits, which is 110 PV, and you've got eight people. So eight times 110 is 880. So in the month of May, if you do that, you will have a total overall volume of 1,760. Okay. Now you'll notice that we didn't talk about LRP in the month of May. And the reason is because if you're just starting from nothing in the month of May, then you won't be able to sign anybody up to LRP in the month of May. Okay, because obviously that will come in June. Okay, so that comes next. So in the month of June, okay, if you then do three classes again and you sample 16 for each of the classes, you get eight to each class, you then sign up four people from each of those classes, you've then <coughs> got exactly the same thing you've then got another 60 1760 new pv however you've also got 12 people that signed up in may and if 50 percent of them if you do wellness consultation with all of them 50 percent of them should sign up to lrp the average lrp order in the uk is around 100 pv some it's 50 some do a 200 so it depends so if the average is 100 PV, we suggest. So if you get six people signed up to LRP, that means in the month of June, you'll have 600 OV from people that signed up in May. They are then reordering another 100 PV each. So that's 600 <coughs> on top of your 1770, which will give you an overall figure at the end of June of 2,370. And remember, you're looking to be elite, so you're looking to get to 3,000, so you're not far off. So then, in the month of uh, July, you do three classes again. You sample 16 people for each class. You get eight people to a class. You get four sign-ups from that class. And you sell the, the right amount of home essential kits, uh, family essential kits. Um, but then you've got your LRPs from June and May. So, <coughs> so from your LRPs from June, there's six. Um, so, and then they're already doing it in June. And then you've got your new LRPs that you signed up in June that are going to be doing it. So that's another six people. So you've now got 12 people on LRP. That gives you a volume of 1,200 OV in LRP. <coughs> you've then got the classes that you did for the month of July, which if we say is 1870 plus your 1200, that gives you a total for the end of July of 3070 overall volume, which has made you elite. So to break that down for you in terms of what you're doing per month, excuse me, I've got a ticky throat. <coughs> If in May, June and July, you do three classes each month, so that's nine classes, 
you then get 12 sign-ups from all of those classes each. That's 36 sign-ups for the three months. You sign 12 of those people up to LRP. You, you'll then be doing these numbers, so you'll then be elite. So the, the key indicators are do nine classes, get eight people to each of those classes, sign half of those people up, get half of those people onto LRP, and that will make you elite by the end of the three-month period. Now, obviously, it doesn't work out exactly like that. So some months you'll have, you know, eight people sign up, and then the next month you'll have 20 people sign up, okay? So it does work. It will work differently. But if you're figuring out how many classes you're doing and you're talking to the right amount of people and getting them onto those classes, then you'll be able to achieve these figures. I've got a question. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> um, so um, we've got a rank. I've uh, created a rank advance, um, rank advance once in three months worksheet that I'll just talk you through how to fill out. So if put it up here. So I'll be sending this out to everybody. <clears throat> okay. So uh, you can. Doing the key activities consistently, you know, just a reminder. Um, when you fill this out, if you can fill out, put your current rank. So if you're just starting, put just starting. And then what your target rank is at the end of the three months that you can kind of be keeping your goal in mind and focused. So what you put in here is your averages. So <coughs> some people don't get eight people to a class, okay? Some people only get, well, to do small classes, so they'll get four people to a class, okay? If that's the case, then unless you sign everybody up 100% of the time, you are going to need to double the amount of classes you do. So instead of doing three classes a month, if you only get four people come to a class, you'll then need to do six classes a month. So um, putting these key indicators into this box here, helps you to then work out how many classes you need to do, which will then help you work out how many sign-ups you're going to get from it, which will then work out how much volume you're going to get from it. Okay. <coughs> and then you'll work on uh, doing the next, the next sheet. So um, I've, given, <coughs> I've given you an example, the example there. So for May, if you do three classes, that's 24 attendees. But that's just the example. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want to do. So you can do your own May target. Okay. You then can put in your outrageous goal. So whatever you might want to do. <coughs> so you might decide, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my target is actually three classes, but my outrageous target is I want to do five. And then at the end of the month, you would actually put in your actual target. Okay. Um, from those from those things, classes is not a key indicator. It helps you to book your time and fill it wisely. But the key indicators are getting people to those classes. So if you do nine classes and you only get one person to each of those classes, then you're not going to be hitting um, the figures that you want to hit. And you're also spending a lot of time doing a lot of things that doing classes when you could be getting eight people to those classes and saving yourself the time. So it's better to do fewer classes with more people coming to it than it is to do more classes with small amounts of people to it, because that's what's going to save you the time. Okay. So putting in, put in, you put in here, for, you know, for May, your target for number of classes, which then helps you to figure out your number of attendees that you come into the class, depending on your statistics here. So if you only get four people come to a class, then if you do six, you're going to need to do six times four, which is going to give you your 24 attendees, which then gives you your 12 signups. Now, some of you may be very good at signing people up so you don't have a 50 percent you have a 80 percent sign up rate that means you need to do less classes or it means you're going to rank advance double okay 
<clears throat> and some people, some of you may not sell home essential kits or you may sell more family essential kits. Okay, so the signups, um, generally, you know, we suggest that you concentrate on selling the home essential kits and the family essential kits. And, you know, there are other kits, but all these kits together add up to make your signups. Okay, you can then add all those up together and that will help you figure out your OV for that month. So, you know, so obviously a home essential kit is 220 PV. So if you're suggesting there that you're going to sell four in May, and that'll give you 880 PV plus whatever you're getting from family essential kits. So then that gives you your 1760 OV. You then need to do your 12 uh, wellness consultations um, so that in the month of June, You've then also got people onto LRP, which is over in this direction. So you then get six people onto LRP. So you then fill those out, fill out your outrageous goals, because you might like, you know, it's really important that you're, you do a minimum. This is my target, but hey, I'm going to try and do this. So that <clears throat> if you don't quite do your outrageous goal, you're going to be hitting your minimum targets so that you're then on track to be getting what you need to get. Okay, and then at the end, you can then start to see how many figures, you know, what you've achieved to get you to elite or to premier. So this can be used for premier, this can be used for elite, and this can be used for silver. <clears throat> you just type in the figures that you need to, to fill in. And I've also added the key indicators at the bottom there. Uh, so the key calculations to help you work out um, the figures to fill in. If you've got any questions on that, put it on the Facebook group um, or speak to sponsors about it. The challenge this week <coughs> is to fill this out and to get it to your sponsors um, before you, ch you chat with them so that they can chat with you about it and they're going to be using this to help you through the next three months. Okay, It's going to be yours and theirs plan. It's going to be what you refer to all the time. Okay, so keep it with you and, you know, it's, it's your goal sheet, it's to help you focus you. Now, many of you don't necessarily, you know, are motivated by goals like this, and that is fine. Um, what I would say is that this helps to focus more than help you to go. It helps you to know exactly where you need to achieve certain things. So rather than, in that situation, rather than looking at it as goals you're trying to look to, because you know you're going to try and achieve this, is actually focusing your mind on the right efforts to achieve what you need to in the next month because you want to rank in the next three months okay um so what you'll notice there is that i have not ad added how many people you sampled or how many people you spoke to about the oils those are really key indicators that you want to be talking to your sponsors about as well but i didn't want to put too much information on here but if you're logging how many people you speak to about the oils and how many people you're sampling, then those will key indicators will go into, obviously if you're sampling, you know, 50 people, you're going to get more than, you know, 24 people to a class in, in the three months. Okay. <coughs> so, you know, the more sampling you do, the better at getting people to classes you're going to be. So that's a very important indicator. The more people you talk to about the oils, the more people you're going to sample, the more people you're going to go into classes, which means more people are going to sign up, which means you're going to get more people on LRP. Okay, so it starts from there. So just remember all of that. Okay. Um, and then if you're looking to get to Premier, so Premier, you need 5,000 OV for your whole team. It needs to be spread on two legs um, both must have 2000 ov or more okay and you must be the enroller of both legs to qualify um, if you're if you need to know a bit of strategy on this then speak to your sponsors and your upline about this they'll help guide you with it um, and check out the placements training webinar that will really help you with this um, for the rank advancement club those going for premier at most only need to find 2000 pv over the next three months and place it appropriately over their two legs. The 2000 POV in the next three months is very, very doable, okay? So it's actually easier for you to get to Premier than it is for somebody just starting to get to Elite. Okay, so 
those of you in that situation getting from elite to premier, go for it. Because also you now get the bonus of £160 extra. So it's way worth going for it, guys. Um, and then if you're looking to get to silver, you need three legs with 3,000 OV or more on each. Um, for the rank advancement club, those going for silver at most only need to find 4,000 PV because obviously you've got a minimum of 5,000 because you're premier already um, um, over the next few months. And you just need to place it appropriately over, the next, over your three legs. But you must be the enroller of all three legs to qualify, just to remind you about that. If you're not sure about any of the stuff I've just talked about, you need to speak to your upline um, and just you know, maybe mention it to your sponsor and they can point you in the right direction of where to find this information out, if you don't know. Um, um, now, we would recommend some books. These are two books that are quite popular in doTERRA. Um, but there's lots of other books, and we'll send you a list of other books. There's another one. There's another one called One Thing, which Rebecca was talking about. But one book that we really love is The Slight Edge. And what these books are all about is helping you to um, personally develop uh, in terms of trying to help you to be consistent and do the right things and to do them daily. Okay. So these books help to help you with your mindset, to help you see the bigger picture. Um, because, you know, going through this business over the next few months, you know, there'll be times when it's quite emotional. Um, you'll have highs and you'll have lows. And um, people that succeed are the ones that get through their low points. And books like this, you know, if you do like 20 to 30 minutes reading of this a day or every other day, that will help you to create your mindset to get through those low times, okay? And that is also the purpose of your sponsor, is also to help you through that, to be able to, you know, get you to the next stage. Because you know, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's, it's hard work, but it's way, way worth it, okay? <coughs> so the weekly challenge is to fill out the rank advancement um, three months goal worksheet and discuss the plan with your sponsor so there is no prize for that this week um there will be prizes for all the other challenges but um i will be sending that out I'll put the, the worksheet on the facebook group and i'll send it out in an email later but please fill out the rank advancement sheet and send that to your your sponsor um and um and good luck so um any questions from everybody? I've got a couple of questions in the chat. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Naz. I need some easy breeze here. Um. So you can, um, you don't just have to talk in the chat, guys. You can come off and uh, the purpose of we, we're not doing a webinar. You can come off and chat live if you want to. Um, I would prefer that. So we can create a forum. <clears throat> Does anyone have questions? Go for it. Hello. Hello. Hi, I have a question um, about the three people who are directly underneath me. Do they have to be active builders or is it sufficient for them to be on LRP? Um, <clears throat> that would be a question that you need to take up with your upline. Um, okay. Because it, it depends on the people. So you're going to need to talk to them about placements, about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Does that make sense? Because yeah. I can't, I can't, there's not a, gene there's not a generic answer to it. Right. It, it, okay. Placements is a case by case basis. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, but if you, if you can't get an answer, <clears throat> In the next couple of days with it then just message me and i'll take you through that for one-on-one -on -one. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. we can go yeah. over that with you kathy will go over that with you um it's yeah uh, it's depending on if you're wanting to get to silver yeah. uh, those people yeah would probably need to be builders but we, we we've got some wellness consultations yeah. coming up haven't we so yeah. we'll be working all of that out okay thank okay. you bye, bye. bye.
Anything else? Does the worksheet make sense, guys? Do you understand it? Does anyone want yeah. me to take them through it a bit more? Honestly, no, no silly. You don't have to feel like you're being silly. You don't know. You okay. can just... Okay, I'll ask a silly one, Nathan. Go for it, Robert. Thank you. Thank you for being brave. I don't have Microsoft Office, and clearly it's time, because I'm hopeless with computers. I got a new computer. They lost Excel and Word. So I just need to buy them. Can anyone tell me where to, where to buy it cheaply? Because I usually get it, my brother is super senior at Microsoft and usually just gets me stuff under the table. But how do I get, I, clearly I need Microsoft Office. Are you a student, do you, do, are you part of a student um, group in any way? No. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. Because <laughs> then you can get the student edition. Um, because it's expensive. So I'm like, I've been putting it off because my brother is probably coming at the end of the month. So I'm hoping he could just, you know, he gets every, you know, he, he has sources. But part of me is like, I don't think I can wait to the end of May. I just, I can't even fill out the spreadsheet until, unless I use my husband's computer at night or something. But it's so Rob, basic and stupid, but I'm just rubbish at this sort of stuff. Robin, can't your brother, as your brother might have a, li a license for more than one person, so he could perhaps send you a link for... Oh, yeah. um,